revolution! Up with the elves! Down with the king! It's worse than that. He has sentenced me to... A holiday! Oh, my goodness! I knew you'd be upset. This is wonderful! We never go on holiday. What are you talking about? We went to the seaside. That was a day trip. And we went to the moon. But you left me behind. Oh, yes. Very well. Let's go on holiday. Hooray! This is the plan. First, we take the elf plane and fly somewhere nice. Oh, lovely! We have a quick snack. Yes. Then we'll pack up and fly back home in time for me to do my evening delivery. That's not a holiday! Now listen to me, Mr Elf. You're taking us away for at least a week to somewhere hot and you're going to relax. But I'm an elf and elves don't like relaxing. Well, you just have to learn. It's going to be fun, Mr Elf. <sighs> All right. But this is an elf holiday, so no magic wands, Holly. OK, Mr Elf. And no pets. <laughs> oh, Dad! It's my holiday. I make the rules. Sorry, Gaston. You have to stay here. Bye-bye, <coughs> Gaston. <coughs> Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. <coughs> Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. Oh, hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back to normal? My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm. This is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. No time to waste. Begin the harvest, everyone. Right on! Picking blackberries is one of the most dangerous jobs for an elf. Why? Because elves are quite small. And blackberry bushes are covered in big thorns. And the best berries are very high up. Oh, I can't reach it! Let me help. That's tasty. Ah, the gnome! Hello. Nice to see you. Well, it's not nice to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Normally, I'm very popular. Are you? Uh, no. Everyone hates me. Well, I'm not surprised. You've eaten our strawberries and our apples, and now you're eating our blackberries too. Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise they were yours. 
Mmm, delicious. Stop it. Stop it. Stop eating everything. I can't help it. Sorry. He's really good at picking blackberries. Yes. The thorns don't bother me. I have a thick skin. Why don't we ask the gnome if he'll pick blackberries for us? Clever Holly! Then we can still have our harvest. And our harvest dance. Harvest dance? Oh, I like dancing. Can I come? No! I'll take that as a yes. What time does it start? Mr Nine, you can come to the dance if you pick some blackberries for us. It's a deal. We'd like this truck filled up with blackberries. Thank you. No problem. One blackberry coming up. Oh, it's a nice one. <coughs> Delicious. Not in your mouth, in the truck. <coughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <coughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. Right all, come on lads, let's get cracking. What a lot of noise! Take it away! Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no! It's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh, well... What do you think the marigolds will say when they see this? They'll laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> oh, no! The marigolds are here! Hello, darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes, completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King, this old boy, you're a 
born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. Don't worry, Ben. I'll be very careful. Whoa! Oops! Holly! Now I'm big! Sorry, Ben. It was an accident. We can't play together like this. OK. I'll make myself big too. Whoa! <laughs> Great! Now we're both big. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> <gasps> big people are coming! Shall we hide? I don't think we can. We're too big. What shall we do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry. You look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it a block of flats. The twins have escaped! <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the wild! Sound the daisy and poppy alarm! Oh, this is all a big farce over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkie. Walkies. Daddy, trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother, you started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit! Daisy and Poppy are going bananas. <laughs> bananas! I'm a banana. <laughs> oh, darlings. There you are. I see you've been doing lots of fab magic. There, that's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive, and I'm the beekeeper. 
we need a jar of honey for the king. No problem. So, I suppose we go in and get some. Where's the door? Hang on, Nanny Plum. You can't just walk into the hive. There's thousands of bees in there with thousands of stings. And they wouldn't be too pleased if we tried to take away their honey. Oh. So what do we do? First, we make the bees sleepy. How? Well, it um, involves magic. But I thought you didn't like magic. I don't. But when I'm about to walk into a nest of angry bees, I'm prepared to bend the rules. Who does the magic? Oh, any old fairy will do. Nanny Plum, can you do a sleep spell for me? All right, then. <laughs> oh, Nanny, not the wise old elf. The bees! <sighs> Why doesn't he say what he means? Uh, 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 what, what happened? Right. So, just to be clear, you want me to magic the bees to sleep? If you wouldn't mind, yes. They're all asleep. Good. Now it will be much safer. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes, we used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Oh, Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. 
Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Muffin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect. Vikings, 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 brave and strong and true. Sailing in our Viking boats across the sea so blue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood. Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ah! An elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No problem! We can do big! And we need duck legs! Oh, really? Then duck legs it is! Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front that breathes fire! But I haven't got a coin. You made them all disappear. Oh, without a coin, we can't make money. Um, I've got a button. Perhaps that will work. <laughs> it's doing its popcorn thing. Oh, it's full of buttons. Nanny, can you buy things with buttons? Mr Elf, would it be OK to pay you in buttons? Uh, no. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye! Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So how do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel! Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. 
Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! Okay, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> Elf Rescue. Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. And don't waste our time again. Charming. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue! I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. <sighs> Elf Rescue! Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. Mm. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. A-OK! -okay. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness. I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. Oh, no! Gaston smelt the bananas. He likes bananas. Gaston, here, boy. Stop. Come back. Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. 
Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No, no toys in class. That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson, all right? Yes, Miss Cookie. The dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. Oh, it's so sweet. Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. Bad ladybird. What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the dragon. Yay! Dave. That's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <laughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> He wants his tummy tickled. Oh, How cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> an exact copy. Now, for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My Dolly. Dolly. Oh, Dolly. My Dolly! <laughs> Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! 
It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Oh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes. I can see you. What? I'm inside. Look through the doors. Hello? I thought you said you'd gone to the jungle. It is a jungle in here. Come and see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, I suppose we'd better rescue him anyway. Oh, one of the stars is moving. Maybe it's a shooting star. Ooh, I can see it too. <gasps> it's going to crash into the ground. Wow, that sounded close. Let's take a look. This is where the shooting star landed. It's made a huge hole. Incredible. Look at all the smoke. It must be very hot. Let's climb down and get a closer look. No, we'll have to come back tomorrow when it's cooled down. <laughs> Morning time. Holly, breakfast! No time, Daddy. A shooting star crashed into the meadow last night. Morning time! Ben, don't you want your breakfast? Later, Mum. I'm off to see the shooting star. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Wow! What made that hole? A shooting star. It fell out of the sky. Excellent! So, what does this shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! <laughs> the top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion. Bleep! Bloop. Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. Excellent. And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun? Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, everyone. Here are your licences, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic license? Of course I do. Oh dear, it's expired. What does that mean? It means 
it's worthless. Can't I do magic then? No, it's against the law. No grown up fairy can do magic without a license. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> Gaston! Good old Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. There. All nice and clean again. No, Gaston. Out. Out. What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <gasps> then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. <laughs> Hello? Nanny Plum, thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. Oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <whistles> oh. 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 This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston to the rescue! Thank you, Gaston. <laughs> Quick, into the houses! Close the windows and doors! Oh, did I just see little windows in the toadstools? All right, gather round, children. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Cookie! Here are some toadstools. Tick toadstools off on your lists. Toadstools! <laughs> Miss Cookie, do toadstools have little windows in them? Uh, no. Lucy, that was close. Yes, but I think we got away with it. Next on the list is an oak tree. Let's go and find one. Oh, no! They're heading towards the great elf tree. We have to get there first. <laughs> Big people! Big people! Coming this way! Big people! Big people! Everyone into the tree! Here they come! Close the shutters! Good! It looks like a normal tree. Oh, look! A little person. Ah! Here we are. You can tell an oak tree by the shape of the leaves. Do oak trees have little people living in them? What? <laughs> of course not. Tick oak tree on your lists, everyone. Oak tree. Phew, that was close. You're telling me. Right, next on the list is insects. This way, children. Uh-oh, they're heading straight for the little castle. We have to get there first. Wait for me. Big people! Quick! Close the shutters! Good! Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh! Thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. 
I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wands 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. You're my best friend. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh, well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. Thank you, elf boy. Oh, elf man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. Mwahaha! <laughs> the whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Wow! A giant palace of ice! This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, elf boy? Elf man, I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> That's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. Oh, good! The sun is out! There you go, Gaston. An invitation to your very own birthday. <laughs> Gaston loves eating letters. So, are you coming to your party, Gaston? I think that means yes. Oh, how are the preparations going for my party tomorrow? Your party? You're not having a party. <laughs> I know your little plan. What little plan? You told us not to plan anything. <laughs> That's right. I did. Good night, then. Good night. <laughs> <sighs> oh, no one here. I expect they're all downstairs. <laughs> no birthday cards? Where is everybody? Of course, they're all secretly hiding outside, ready to shout, Happy Birthday, King Thistle! Oh, there's no one here. They must be having the party somewhere else. Ah, that sounds like a party. I'd better go and find out where it is. Not much of a party without me, the birthday boy. Everyone is here, even Gaston's brother Tony with Pam and the little ladybird Amber, <laughs> Emerald <laughs> and Keith. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. 
<laughs> Hello! I'm sorry, do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle, King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. Oh, I think his mouth is stuck shut. <laughs> that was horrific. You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it. No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing. Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and <laughs> yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. OK, well, I can't stand around chatting. I've got loads more cakes to bake. Rock hard rock cakes, super sticky fudge, waterproof gingerbread. We'll have to warn the whole of the little kingdom. The Queen's baking cakes! <laughs> The Queen's baking cakes! Oh, no! I can't eat one of those cakes again. No one can eat them and survive. Hello! Cake time, everyone! Uh, yes, but you shouldn't have troubled yourself, Your Majesty. We already have lots of cake. You don't want my cakes! Oh, yes, we do! You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't! Oh, Good, then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait! Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the Queen baking again. What's that noise? Giants are coming! Quick, let's hide! It's only Lucy. The little girl we met at the farm. And her dad's with her. It's so pretty here. Yes, Dad. It's a shame we've got to dig it all up. Dig it all up? Why? To make room for the cows. Ooh. Cows? In the meadow? They're ginormous. The cows can graze in this meadow. Oh. We just need to flatten these molehills. That's not a molehill. That's Gaston's house. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Gaston! They're going to flatten your house. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. You can come and live with me in the little castle. I'll put the cow shed over there. Oh, no! The cow shed will be right on top of my little castle. Don't worry, Holly. You and Gaston can come and stay with me in the great elf tree. And I'll put the cow manure over by those trees. Oh, that's where the elf tree is. What's manure? Cow poo! Oh, maybe I won't stay at the great elf tree. Thanks anyway, Ben. I'd better start building the fence. Psst! Lucy! Lucy! Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Your dad is putting his cows right where we live. Yes, isn't it terrible? You have to tell him to stop. OK. I'll tell him that elves and fairies live here. No, no! Big people must never know we live here. But I'm a big person and I know you're special. What can we do then? Let's ask the wise old elf. They were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic Jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. OK, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me! I'll do it! Who is 
the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say... Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh, it worked. Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha, I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Hello, I'm your new nursery teacher, and this is my assistant, Mrs... Oh. She's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs Elf. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere, but I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Harqueen like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um... Would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well... Nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas, but we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's... Mud. Ma Mud? No, it's... Ma Ma Mustard? Ma Marshmallows? Ma Ma Melted cheese? M M M Magic! <gasps> Magic! <gasps> <gasps> 
Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic. Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint. And it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course. <laughs> 